Video games have been a part of my life for as long as I can remember. From back as a kid when I prayed the PS2 screen came up blue, to flash games on miniclip, and finally finishing Plants vs Zombies all by myself for the first time. Back then, getting enjoyment out of a video game was simple. Obviously not as simple as completely shutting off my brain and mindlessly pressing buttons, but still, I don't remember being as obsessed with crunching numbers in video games as I am now. If you're watching this video, you most definitely have played a video game before, so you should know of arguably the two most common numerical values in video games, statistics and rankings. Although they don't appear for each and every genre or title out there, they are the most commonly used for games that strive for longevity or depth. Since from a game design point of view, these values could increase for as long as the game lives. Just to clear things up, when we say statistics, or more commonly referred to as stats, we are almost exclusively talking about numbers tied to in-game equipment or items that give bonus benefits. And for rankings, although sometimes a displayed number isn't directly tied to a given rank, ultimately a hidden value is used anyways. But with that, let's dive deeper into stats first, since there are no shortages of those in video games. From your armor stats in Destiny, and the crit chance or crit bonus on your Genshin artifacts, to even your PP count in Osu. There's a chance that you've paid more attention to a number like this than you should have, always trying to peek out at the best stats you can possibly get. Now, normally this isn't really an issue, but what if that obsession becomes your reason to play? Genshin Impact is one of the best examples I've seen for this. Being a free game that's available on both mobile and PC, it's accessible to almost anyone with an electronic device. That in combination with its rich story, character design, and world design, it's no wonder that it drags in such a huge crowd. I won't lie, when the game came out, I was hooked on it as well. But now, even the thought of playing the game puts me off from ever touching it again. So why? Given its popularity and constant story updates, do I hear of people quitting the game? See, when you first start playing, you're drawn into exploring the world of Genshin. You get to follow along with the characters and their stories, completing missions, and building up your character's strengths. You get to learn about the characters you meet and the world around you, and that's what draws you to keep playing. But once story time ends and you've explored every inch of the world, you're hit with a gameplay loop comprised of running the same battles over and over again, hoping that you get that god roll drop that will increase your character's crit stat by 20%. With nothing left to do in the world, you're left with a grindy experience where the only drive forward is increasing your numbers. And to be frank, after going through the story of Genshin Impact, grinding sounds like nothing but time spent not having fun. Obviously, this example is an overgeneralization of obsessing over stats, but I feel it's so much more relevant in a game like Genshin, where combat comprises of spamming left click and occasionally clicking two other buttons. And before all you Genshin fanboys and fangirls start writing an essay in the comments about how the combat systems are more robust than spamming left click, sometimes you have to hold down left click and you've got to combine elements- Stop. Just stop. The only reason you would make a comment like that is because you're obsessed with maximizing your damage. Anyways, the main point I'm trying to make here is that our obsession with statistics makes playing the game a chore, not an avenue for fun, and that's what causes us to burn out. At the end of the day, we stop playing it because we drain the fun and we're left to obsess over numbers. But what if you find the grind fun? Well, there's no doubt that people who enjoy the grind exist, so let's use them as a segue to obsessions over rankings. We all have that one friend who is extremely competitive in video games and always tries to get as high of a rank as they can. Generally, we don't actually see this as obsessive, but more so goal setting, and it can be rather fun trying to progress towards that goal and rewarding when you do. But when does your determination turn into an obsession? It doesn't seem possible to obsess over ranks at first thought, 
But then you start to wonder why people can be so toxic in competitive games, and why you would endure that toxicity to work towards your target rank. With the likes of League of Legends and Dota 2 leading the esports world, comes an abundance of testaments from gamers around the world saying that they quit because of the community. We often see posts made on how to deal with toxicity, but we rarely ever talk about why it exists in the first place. From a logical standpoint, it makes sense to cooperate with your teammates as best as you can so that you can achieve victory together. But when obsession floods your emotions with frustration and anger, it's hard to keep it all bottled down. All that buildup of emotions causes you to either become toxic or burnt out from enduring it all. And if you keep on that grind, you only ever end up putting yourself through that infinite loop. Continuing on, there's a certain limit to how much you should care about your rank before it becomes unhealthy, both to your own mental health and to the people around you. After all, other people may not play for you, but you should remember that you play for yourself, be it for fun or to achieve a goal, but never ever let that goal become an obsession that controls the way you play or the reason you play. It's been a long while since I took gaming seriously, and I used to be every kind of person that I just spent the last few minutes talking about. But I've reached a point where the numbers tire me out, and I don't need to min-max everything or hit peak rankings. Just booting up the game and playing it the way I want to play is enough to have fun. Something I want to emphasize is that everyone has their way to play. If you have the mental stamina to keep on the grind, don't let this video and my opinion stop you. But if you're sick of crunching numbers, Hopefully this video can serve as a reminder that it's okay to kick back and relax on your favorite video games and play for the fun of it, not for the hell of it. Lastly, as a closing remark, I'm aware that this video may not contain the fullest of truths and is highly opinionated in some areas, but hopefully it serves as a good starting point to the deeper dive into the many obsessions that gaming has to offer. If you want to start a discussion, feel free to leave a comment below and we can have a civilized debate. I've been Spief, hope you enjoyed that video. I know it's a little different from the usual videos I make, but hey, my channel is just for me to make videos on things I like and things I like talking about. So if you enjoyed that, leaving a like would help and subscribe if you enjoy that type of content so that you can see more. I also stream on Twitch occasionally, so you can follow me there if you want, be my guest. But with that, I'll catch you guys in the next video.